Hi, I'm Dixie and welcome to Dixie's Storytime World. I hope you will enjoy the next video. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Hi kids, welcome back to another story with Dixie and Dixie's Storytime World. Reading together, Cinderella. Long ago, a girl called Cinderella lived with her two stepsisters. Cinderella was a lovely girl. Her stepsisters were lazy and selfish. Cinderella had to do all the cooking and cleaning. The stepsisters did nothing but sit around all day in beautiful clothes. Cinderella! Fetch me a drink. Cinderella, bring the biscuits, they would shout. After a hard day's work, Cinderella didn't even have a bed to sleep in. One day, a handsome prince invited the girls to his party. You can't go dressed in those rags, said the stepsisters. You can stay at home. Cinderella helped her stepsisters get ready for the party. She ironed their clothes and combed their hair. When the stepsisters left for the party, Cinderella began to cry. She was surprised to see her fairy godmother standing in the kitchen. Find me a frog, a pumpkin and two mice, said her fairy godmother. Cinderella did as she was told, and her fairy godmother waved her wand. In one moment, there stood a footman, a golden carriage, and two white horses. Then she waved her wand again, and Cinderella's rags became a beautiful dress. Now you can go to the party, but you must leave at twelve o'clock, she said. Oh, thank you. I promise I will, said Cinderella to her fairy godmother. Cinderella danced all night with the prince until a clock struck twelve. Cinderella left the party so quickly that she lost her silver shoe. The prince searched everywhere for the girl whose foot fitted the silver shoe. It's mine! The stepsisters both told the prince, but the prince saw Cinderella. The silver shoe fitted Cinderella perfectly. The prince asked Cinderella to marry him, and they lived happily ever after, even the stepsisters. The end. <laughs>